This is Friday, June 17th, and we're praying, praying night prayers from the New Zealand prayer book. Let's take a moment to quiet our hearts and our minds. The angels of God guard us through the night and quieten the powers of darkness. The spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early and so late take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. My brothers and sisters, our help is in the name of the eternal God who is making the heavens and the earth. Dear God, Thank you for all that is good for our creation and our humanity, for the stewardship you have given us of this planet Earth, for the gifts of life and of one another, for your love, which is unbounded and eternal. O thou most holy and beloved, my companion, my guide upon the way, my bright evening star, we repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love. Oh God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been, and shall be is known to you to the very secret of our hearts and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame burn into us, cleansing wind blow through us, fountain of water well up within us that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Eternal spirit flow through our being and open our lips that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, alleluia. Turning to page 713 in the Book of Common Prayer, we'll read verses 1 through 8 of Psalm 89. We'll read it together in unison. Your love, O Lord, forever will I sing. From age to age, my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness. For I am persuaded that your love is established forever. You have set your faithfulness firmly in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever and preserve your throne for all generations. The heavens bear witness to your wonders, O Lord, and to your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the gods? God is much to be feared in the council of the holy ones, great and terrible to all those round about him. Who is like you, Lord God of hosts? O mighty Lord, your faithfulness is all around us. A reading from the book of Matthew, chapter six. Do not ask anxiously, what are we to eat? What are we to drink? What shall we wear? The whole world runs after such things. Set your heart and mind on God's commonwealth and justice first, and all the rest will come to you as well. So do not be anxious about tomorrow. Today has enough problems of its own. Tomorrow can look after itself. Into your hands, O oh God, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And together we'll pray the antiphon for ordinary days, followed by the Song of Simeon. Preserve us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in your peace. Praise be to God, I have lived to see this day. God's promise is fulfilled and my duty done. 
at last you have given me peace, for I have seen with my own eyes the salvation you have prepared for all nations, a light to the world in its darkness, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And together we'll pray the alternate version of the Lord's Prayer. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, Living God in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love now and forever. Amen. I will lie down in peace and take my rest. For it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Let us bless the earth maker, the pain bearer, the life giver. Let us praise and exalt God above all forever. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all forever. And now if you'd like to unmute to offer up prayers of thanksgiving and intercession. Continue to pray for Angela Williams and for Jeff Williams. Pray for Billy. Um, for the people of St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Alabama. For Claire and Doris and Sis. For Payne. Bill Hancock. For Bill and Gina. For, for Al Sue. and Susan. Safe travels for Jan and Pan. And I ask safe travels for myself as I drive back to Florida on uh, Monday morning. And for Barbara, and for Martha. For Brady and Christine. For Claudia Calhoun. Give thanks for our church family. Conference Center. Lord, we offer up all of these prayers in your holy name. And now we'll pray the general thanksgiving. Eternal God, compassionate and merciful, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all people. We bless you for our creation preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your boundless love in the redemption of the world by our Savior Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us that due sense of all your mercies, that our hearts may be truly thankful, and that we praise you not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving ourselves to your service and be wa by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. And we'll pray um, prayer number three and number six. Be present, Spirit of God, within us your dwelling place and home, that this house may be one where all darkness is penetrated by your light all troubles calmed by your peace, all evil redeemed by your love, all pain transformed in your suffering, and all dying glorified in your risen life. Amen. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. 
let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray, amen. The blessing of God, the eternal goodwill of God, the shalom of God, the wildness and the warmth of God be among us, between us, now and always. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God.